Hi, it's Ewan here at protopic.co.uk. I'm here today to show you an example of the 1UP bit working for the BBC Microbit. Now, the 1UP bit, what it is, is it's a gamepad or a controller add-on that you have to build yourself. Um, comes with a PCB and a, a two-axis potentiometer, a C button and a D button. The reason it's got a C and D is because A and B are already on the Microbit. Um, you can see the earlier video where it shows you how to put this together, how to solder it up. Or if you really don't want to solder it, you can buy it pre-soldered um, at additional, an additional cost. Now, we've got our micro bit here, which is in one of our bat bit slims, so it uses two CR2032 batteries. Um, this is the lowest capacity battery case that we do, um, but it is the slimmest. We do another one which has got two AAAs, which will give you quite a bit more power. But for this demonstration, the slim is perfect. And on the bottom here, because the one up bit has a, an exposed edge connector. We can still use our other accessories which would normally plug directly into the micro bit. So for this one, I'm going to plug in the micro pixel edge. And we've also got our amp bit, amp bit uh, which is a class D amplifier for the BBC micro bit. And that'll break out your micro bit to a, um, a stereo jack, giving you mono sound. Or there's a footprint to solder on uh, a speaker directly and if you plug in a set of headphones to the, the jack it will cut out power to the, the speaker and it's also got a volume control so this that would work well with this as well and that should be available very soon so if we switch it on I don't know if you can see that there now you'll see it's flashing but that's the, the way that the micro bit displays the LEDs it pulses it very quickly it's pulsed with modulation but in real life you don't see that so now if I press up you got an up arrow down, a down arrow left, a left arrow right, a right arrow and I can spin it around like that you got the C and D and it will display that on the screen but if you have a look here you can see the two the left and the right pixel are both illuminated so if I press C that will switch them off and D that will switch them on if I move to the left the left pixel will come on and move to the right, the right pixel will come on and then both on and off. So that gives you an idea that you can still control peripherals or accessories that are either plugged into the edge connector or using crocodile clips to hook up to other sensors, maybe a temperature sensor or whatever if you want to incorporate that into your game somehow. Now the one up bit, not only can it control things on the screen and on here, but if you've got say a little robot buggy, you can maybe control it using radio or Bluetooth, so you can use it to control another micro bit. So it's not just for games. Um, really you can use it for whatever you would normally use a controller for um, when it comes to micro bits. So that is the one up bit from Protopic. Thanks very much. Bye!